Legislators have wrapped up their work for the year at the state capitol. There could be more political bickering on the way in the coming days, though. Mary McGuire is live in St. Paul with more on the end of the session and what comes next, Mary. Good morning, Jason. Lawmakers wrapped up here at the state capitol just before midnight, I think 11.48 p.m. it was, but more drama could be on the way. The governor has criticized a lack of compromise between lawmakers and has threatened to veto two important bills. Now, last night, Governor Mark Dayton warned he may give the red stamp to federal tax compliance and government spending bills, two major centerpieces of the 2018 session. The DFL governor and Republican leaders have sparred over the details included in those two packages. Last week, Dayton vetoed the tax bill because it didn't include emergency school funding. The final spending bill sent to his desk includes money to fight opioid addiction and abuse, to increase senior care facility oversight, and to improve school safety. After things were said and done here, both sides had very different takes on how negotiations went this year. You know, we feel great, and when we look at not only what we accomplished this session, but what we accomplished in the last session, we put uh, an un unprecedented amount of money into road and bridge infrastructure. We, we passed an unprecedented amount of tax relief. Um, we, we tackled big, difficult issues like opioids and elder abuse. Um, we're going to have a lot of great things to talk about on the campaign trail, um, and I'm confident that Minnesotans will uh, place their confidence in us again uh, this November, so we feel good about the election. Total mismanagement. This legislative session ended in complete chaos and in shambles when you look at the work product that will come out of it. Now, on Saturday, the governor also knocked down a law that would have toughened up penalties for protesters blocking freeways or transit lines here in Minnesota. And we may not know the fate of every single one of those bills for a while. The governor has two weeks to either sign or veto them, Jason. Mary, what's going to happen today at the Capitol? Well, really, it's a waiting game to see what the governor will do with those bills. The governor promised that there would not be a special session here in St. Paul, and that appears to have been a promise that was kept. All right, Mary McGuire, thank you. Our Pat Kessler has been covering this session all year. He was there all day, all night yesterday, well past midnight. You might call this a tale of two sessions. 2018 was really unusual. They were here since February, but it came down to the last two hours of the legislative session. Republicans, after adjournment, said they had a lot of accomplishments and they're proud of it. They said this might be one of the best sessions they've ever had. Democrats, though, are coming out and saying this is not only one of the least productive sessions ever, they're going to take it to the campaign trail. One of the big issues here is going to be the tax bill and the spending bill. Governor Dayton using very harsh language, saying right now he is going to veto both of these two biggest bills of the year. And on top of all of that, he called Republicans and their actions disgusting, appalling, and even vile. So now that the session is over, the governor has two weeks to decide whether to sign or veto all of these bills. And that's what the drama is going to be coming up. All right, Pat, stay with WCCO. We'll have continuing coverage of what goes down in the days and weeks ahead.